Hmm. And how does it make you feel? Um, bored, I guess. Can you hear it? Can you hear what's going on right now? Do you know what that sound is, Carmen? That I feel like you're is the me. fucking hype train. Get on board, god damn it, because this train's leaving the station. <laughs> ah! Convulsions. Oh, man. Don't understand. I do understand. You, no, you don't. You're you're a nerd. Yeah, that, that, that has nothing to do with this. Okay. No, no, st do, do the... I gotta remember. This is the best Mega Man game ever. You ready for this shit? Look at that. Fucking Mega Man. I jump, and I shoot shit. Ah, ah, die. See, look. Jump, shoot, jump, jump, shoot, jump, shoot. Ah, -ha. <laughs> don't laugh at me. This is the best Mega Man game ever made. Bar none. Nope. Missed. Ooh, oh, wow. That's not bad. Can you, can you, like, fall through the gaps in the floor? Yes, yes, I can. They just have seriously though. Are like, they like? They look like beetles almost. Yes, they're a little insectoid. Ow. Okay, I'll, I'll admit I'm not the greatest at this game. It's just the only Mega Man game I'm good at. I played the fuck out of this as a kid. This is my favorite game I have on my SNES. Um, can only think of like one or two others that's as good as this. But this was the most fun I ever had. Why? Why do you? Why were the lights going like that? Oh, the little light white thingies yeah. around me? That's, See, that, and that looks like a giant, like, caterpillar. That would be a bumblebee, sweetheart. Whatever. Like, okay, that. Yes. I'm um, doing this. Pew! Versus this. Oh, are you pew, charging? Pew. Yes. Uh, okay. I know we have the volume down, so you can't hear the ch charging noise, but yes, I'm charging. Which is what I do. I've played this game so many times, I just walk around with the charge on. Oh, God. Fuck this guy up. Yeah. No! You know what? No! Ha ah, ha ha! I am so not. So why are they bumblebee shaped? Uh, I have literally no reason for that to be. The only conjecture I can make is the fact that, um. I mean, like, those clearly are dragonfly like creature yeah. things. Uh, ooh, ah! No, that's a thing. You're in my way. Um, the only thing I can think of they as. They have, like, landmines. Yes, they do. Because the main problem right there is the falling stuff. It has yeah. nothing to do with that. What city are you in? Uh, West City, I think? Or am I thinking Dragon Ball Z? Because it doesn't matter. Uh, point is that... Wait. Aw. Oh, wow. Can you jump on the car? That's... Hold on. I'm trying to do it. Turn around. There. Oh, can you drive the car? Ride on cars! <laughs> Woo! This is why this game is the best. No, get Cause you can ride on a car. Because I'm fucking Mega Man, and I look like a badass. In all the other games, he's looked awesome. Like, he's always been a cool hero, but this one, he's just oh, the shit. fucking coolest. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The stakes are raised in this shit, man, and you know it. Because <laughs> the old games, you were like this small little pixely dude, and you fought little small pixely monsters and whatever, and they were all robots, and so one of them looked like a telephone and shit. But no, this one, like, instant, bam, everything's bigger, everything's more colorful and everything's just more awesome. No! Uh, yeah! Yeah! I will not die. He looks like a Rock'em Sock'em robot. Yes, he, uh, and this is the silliest fucking thing. I didn't know this for the longest time. He's, he's right, he's in what's called ride armor. He's wearing armor that's, make, that makes him look like that. I can actually wear that later. So like, you see his, his head and whatever in the picture there versus on, on his body? Yeah. I swear to God, I always, as a kid, thought that his face was part, like his nose was a gun. <laughs> I, I didn't even remember this guy's name until I found him at a con, which, by the way, entrance by motherfucking Zero! Woo! Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, Zero is so cool with the fucking, the hair. Is that and the red guy? This, yes, I'm X, he is Zero. Do, do not question me on this. Why? Why is he X? Yeah. Um... I don't know the full story, so leave it in the comics as you guys know, but um, when they made Mega Man X, they wanted to do a whole new 
take on the Mega Man series. They had done Mega Man 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 10, and they're like, shit, things are getting sale, uh, stale, sales are dropping, what do we do? So they wanted to make a new, you know, new Mega Man game. So they invented Zero, and he was going to be the main character, but then it's not a Mega Man game if you're not Mega Man. So they made so a he new... he's like Mega Man 2.0. Yes, he's Mega Man X. They had to give him a new name to kind of denote that. And in the X series of games, he looks bigger and tougher and everything. What do numbers mean? That's a little code thing that was on screen. That was um, the password. So when I turn off this game eventually, because I know I'm not going to be able to rush through this in one session, because I need food, damn it. Um, uh, when I turn it off, there's no save system. So if I write down the passcode, it brings me right where we would That was a long passcode. You gotta remember all that? You write it down. Dude, this this is this is the SNES, man. You you write that shit down. <laughs> you you don't memorize things. God forbid you have a save button. Hey, okay. This the the SNES couldn't save the games. The chill penguin! Yes. He's always the first one you fight. Um fucking the SNES couldn't save games. They had no way of um, internalizing memory. Ah, lumberjack fucker. Yeah. Lumberjack. Uh, eh. Robot tree lumberjack. I'm out of practice. Give me that help. Thank you. Um, the Why are there robotic trees? Because, fuck you, I don't know. Okay, so the story to this game... Are robotic bunnies? I skipped over the story, but um, there's like no humans left in this universe. There are no humans. Everything is robots. So what is Mega Man? Mega Man is an android. I uh, actually don't remember. I think he's also a robot. Um, he was created by one of the last surviving humans, Dr. Light or Wright, if you're from Japan. Shout out to the Japanese. <laughs> um... I don't understand why they change some of the names sometimes, but whatever. Um, I think Wily is the same in both American and Japanese versions. I don't know. But in the X universe, it's further in the future than any of the Mega Man games. And in... Yeah, here you go. What is that? That's Dr. Light. It looks like Buddha! Actually, he's supposed to look like Thomas Edison. Oh. Um, why? Why? God, I have to just show you all the Did You Know Gamings. Basically, Dr. Wily, I don't know if you've ever seen him before, he looks like Einstein. Um, that was their basis for it. And I don't really know why they look like those particular people. Um, but they, they just kind of do for whatever reason. But So this capsule is an armor uh, increase for me. It, oh. it gives me a new power. Uh, and this is the only one that isn't hidden in the world. So I get to see this badass animation sequence where it's just like, ah, power up, and now I got my shoes. Look at those shoes. <laughs> those are some fucking killer shoes. And so now I can do this. Wee, wee. I can jump further. I'm so happy for you. Hey, don't laugh at me. I always hated these things because they never get within gunshot range. You always have to jump and. It's they... an ostrich! Yes, and I didn't show you how cool that thing was. Wait, watch. I saw it. No. Yeah! <laughs> it just shoots its little feather head at you. Uh, so, the whole story is that X and Zero were created by Light, and. Um, uh, uh, sorry, I'm thinking, like, because I don't know the entire lore. I just played this game as... Here's Ride Armor, by the way. And I can do this now. Bleh! <laughs> Whee! Dragonflies and shit. Um, with the story, I don't know who built all the robots. I just know that... Um, I, I want to say that Wright and Wily created the robots, and they eventually started building themselves. And so, like, the entire world is nothing but robots. Um... So, they, they start to be some sort of a revolution, and so X and Zero become Maverick Hunters, and they take down robots that are, you know, doing things against the law. The, uh, the robot boss I'm about to go fight, Chill Penguin, damn it, um, he was, like, all the robots in this game were, like, environmentalist creations to help, like, regulate the environment and whatnot. That's why they're all, like, ice or water or whatever themed. Um... They... 
a wet love, rogue. I'm totally interrupting you, but I love in retro games where you come to like a room and you can tell it's a boss fight. Oh yeah. Like Kirby does it, you're doing it, it's just like, you know, oh shit, this is going down. Oh yeah, yeah, no. That's one of the things they do so right is the staging of, yeah. of like what's going on. Like you know damn well that you are in some serious shit right now. You're not just fighting some random hobo off the street. You are fighting a And boss. it almost always, like, like with the Girlfriend Gaming that's just been put up, um, I just did the first level, the tree boss. It has the little skull, and he has the little skull right now. Oh, yeah, no. And, and that's one of the things that retro gaming is so good about and good for. Like, they mastered the craft of telling a story with as few words as possible. Yeah. Like, I don't, I love today's games that have these awesome stories, but I don't like the method that they're told half the time, because, like, and I made you play it, the, um, uh, uh fucking, what was the name of the damn thing? The Tales of the Borderlands. I made you play oh, Tales of the Borderlands. I really did not like that. Because there's no game. No, it's all it's, cutscenes. It's just an interactive cutscene. Don't call it a game. Oh, and this is why Mega Man's the coolest. Fucking... New power. Woo. Like, the whole game is centered around this theme of... That's my password. <laughs> so, what are the little dudes that... Metars. They, they don't mean anything. They're just there to make the password scream not look boring. Or at least, that's as far as I know. Here's which, a bunch of numbers. Um, I'll, I'll try to pick up what I was saying next time on Boyfriend Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. You should totally subscribe to see even more awesome gaming. You can also comment with suggestions of other games we should play to make it more interesting. See you in the next session.